got my new compressor from Harbor Freight. I was in a hurry to get it, but I decided before actually opening it, I already put a cut right here because I'm just going to take the top of the box off. But I actually thought about making a video on these compressors. I've seen a couple of other guys do it and you know I said why not do it myself too just so it can be more than one resource out there for those of you who's actually trying to review this compressor so I, what I did was I took my Zacto knife and made a cut all the way around so I can just pull the top off like that there and okay now I have the instructions out here as you can see on the instructions there is a 30 minute break in period it says let the unit run for 30 minutes air will expel freely through the coupler which is this guy right here so I'm going to let it run for 30 minutes once I get it up and running and after that I will show you how the compressor is running. Here's your on and off switch here for your compressor. And once you get it, there's only a few things you have to assemble. It says here you just put the handle on and attach the wheels. And there's some floor rubber mounts. But other than that, and oh yeah and this air filter which is this guy right here I already put him on because I told you I'm gonna do the 30 minute break in period but I still got the bottom half of the box sitting on there I'm gonna install it the wheels and the handle later on but right now I'm just breaking in the compressor kind of grayish looking I guess that's why they recommend you run it for 30 minutes first do the break in and after you run it for the 30 minutes do an oil change on it You can even see the metal shavings on my finger just by touching the screw. So yeah, it's recommended. Do the 30 minute break in period and give her an oil change. <clears throat> 